Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Launch Pass. It's similar to Retro Pass, but uh, it looks different and, you know, there's always options. So, first thing you want to do is install Launch Pass through the Dev Portal. That's pretty easy to do. And then you want to install uh, Launch Box, which I'm going to do right here. And what you want to do is you go to OK, I accept hit next I'm going to change this to my uh, external USB which is the G drive I'm going to hit OK I'm going to hit next and then next again and then install alright go to yes there will be a pop up All right, when you see this screen, just close out of this. And what you want to do is you want to go up here, go to Tools, Import, ROM Files, go to Next, go to Add Folder. Now this is where you want, or this is where your ROMs are. So I'm going to just choose uh, Game Boy just for the sake of it and hit Select Folder go to next now over here you're gonna choose Nintendo Game Boy so look for Nintendo and then Game Boy for example hit next I'm gonna put automatically configure RetroArch which is what I want for Game Boy and I'm gonna do copy the files copy the files to launch box folder because I have it on a different drive and I don't want to delete anything so copy hit next you can select what you want but I'm gonna select everything just for the sake of it so it's gonna take a bit hit next next you can set these up for MAME if you want uh, the different bezels but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna hit next leave this alone and hit next and then hit finish and now we wait for that to get done alright now if you want to add more um, emulators and ROMs and stuff and you don't want to just use RetroArch uh, if you go to this website it teaches you how to uh, set it up it's very simple with these uh, you know these directions so go here for setting up all these different types of emulators. Link will be in the description as always. And uh, that way you can you can use whatever it supports and you shouldn't have any troubles because it's simple. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna use RetroArch in this tutorial. So what you wanna do now is, all right, now what you wanna do is you wanna choose the system that you want and hit edit. All right, now go to sort title and hit one, and then go to OK. You want to close out of this, go to exit. Then just for a, a separate tip here, I guess, um, th the next thing you should do if you haven't already is download Xbox Media USB and start it up. Go down here, not up here. This will format the drive. Don't do that. Down here, click on this. Pick the drive that you just made for the ROMs. And then go to Add Permissions. OK. Close out of this. And now I recommend go down here and right click on this and eject my passport. If you get an error like this, <laughs> that it's already in use just give it a sec and try again if it still says it I don't know man <laughs> launch box sucks but anyways 
That way you don't just pull it out and it corrupts the USB. But once that's done, pull it out of the PC, go over to the Xbox. Also, I forgot to mention you have to install RetroArch and set it up you want, the way you want with controls and stuff on the Xbox as well. But simple stuff. Now, what you want to do is start up Launch Pass. It'll give you this. All you got to do here, it's not confusing really. Choose if you want videos to start or to autoplay. I don't have any videos, but if you do, you might want that. But all you want to do is click set up your USB and hit activate. Then hit B. And there you go. There's your Game Boy. And now if you want to customize the background, just go to settings. Go to customize right here. And you can change it to any of these. I'm going to go through them and show you what it looks like. Just for the heck of it. Plus, I'll change this to show you as well. You can customize it any way you like. Just, it's up to you. Alright. There's that. Which looks pretty cool. Go to settings. Customize. Go to cart front. If there's mixing, mixed, missing box art, uh, then LaunchBox needs to be rescanned, or they probably just don't have anything. I don't know. <laughs> That's a separate issue, but um, hopefully you guys can get it the way you want it. There's that one, with the purple smoke. Pretty much the logo. <laughs> There's waves. And now the last one, Zoom LP. I'm going to go back to box front. And that's the last one. Now you want to choose a game. Right here is a selection of recents. And then if you click this, it'll show them all. So you can just choose whatever. I'm going to choose Donkey Kong. <laughs> you pop this up you'll get information and box arts and screenshots and also there will be a video here if you set up videos but all you gotta do is press A on this A on the box art and it'll launch RetroArch or Retrix or Xenia or Dolphin or whatever you choose I'm just gonna play a sec just to show you. <laughs> that is working but pretty simple uh, once you set it up and uh, if you if you don't want Game Boy first and you want like NES or SNES first or GameCube or whatever first just change that sort number to whatever you want and it should work I haven't fully tested it uh, like the number sorting or if it just works with one I don't know I'm sure it'll be fixed if it's not but uh, yeah that's launch pass I mean it, uh, I'm dead but um, you know it's up to you whatever one you want to use either one are, is good <laughs> this
Now, if you want, like, different controls for, uh, RetroArch or anything else, make sure to run the emulate, the original emulator first. Set it up the way you want. Because all it's doing is, uh, making a shortcut to the emulator and the ROM and stuff, so everything you saved on the core itself is what it's doing, so... Make sure you set all that stuff up separately, and, uh... You should be well on your way to use Launch Pass. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it helped, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.